Hey YouTube, what's happening? Today we're going to look at another great model car. This is the Monogram 1978 Chevrolet El Camino Camper. This model is on loan from my good friend James. We will also show you where to buy our model cars at the end of this video. Also stay tuned to the end of the video for my build of this model. Now we go all the way back to 1979 to our Chevrolet showroom where we get to take a look at the El Camino Camper. This is a monogram kit in 125th scale. The side of the box shows our rear three quarter view of our camper as well as the front with the hood up to show our engine. We also have this great write up on the side of the box in English telling us more about our El Camino Camper as well as in many other different languages. Now let's just lift the lid on our box and see what's inside here just briefly before we go into more depth. And right there you've got all this red plastic in a nice bag. As you can see it is a lot of parts for the model. Then we have our chrome underneath here, some tires, our decal sheet, and at the end of the video I'll show you what that looks like, as well as our instructions and our clear glass. Our instruction sheet for the El Camino Camper has this really nice write-up about the vehicle as well as all the symbols and other instructions we will need in order to assemble our model. We get some paint call-outs as well as our wonderful assembly of our four-piece wheels and then they all hook onto the front axle which drops down on the frame. Our paint call-outs continue across the top of the sheet where we also get an illustration of our rear wheels being assembled and then our axle, drive shaft and springs and shocks all dropping onto the back side of the frame. Step 4 shows our Chevy V6 being glued together with right and left hand side engine block and transmission. Then we have our cylinder heads, our valve covers, a carburetor and an air cleaner which will drop onto this turbo injected unit onto our intake manifold as well as our fan belt and pulleys. There's the fan and our right and left exhaust manifolds and everything else needed in order to build this engine. Step 5 shows the top of the turbo and where that pipe hooks up to the bottom of our exhaust manifold and how our engine drops right into place on that chassis. Panel 6 shows our interior tub with our two bucket seats that drop into place and then here we've got this nice dashboard, a steering wheel with a console and it looks like another CB radio right out of the 70s man. Panel 7 shows our glass being dropped in and you also have to cut out your headlights out of here. Panel 8 is really straightforward. It's just showing our mirror being put into the center of our front windshield. Next, we hook in our assembled interior into our body. Step 10 shows our body being dropped onto our chassis rails. Step 11 shows our headlights going into our grill assembly, which then goes into the front of the car. We also add in this front splash pan, our bumper, and our license plate. Now we're going to need to cool our car down with our radiator and shroud and this upper radiator hose which all drop down into the front of the car. We have this really nice hood with an off-center air inlet which will hook into the front of our windshield just here on the body. Now our tailgate comes in three pieces. Here we have the license plate shroud going into the back and then that back panel which is on the outside of the car will hook into this panel which is on the inside of the car and the whole tailgate will drop into these little slots and you can open and close it. Panel 15 shows our license plate decal being installed as well as our rear bumper. Next up we assemble our camper topper with our two side windows and our rear glass which will then go onto the back of our camper. Now you don't need to glue this on but it will look nice once it's there. And here we have our final assembly with our whip antenna for the CB radio being glued on the top as well as our right and left hand side mirrors and our mirror housings being installed on the body. The box top can be used as a guide for locating decals. Here we have the wonderful El Camino body and as you can see a lot of the components are molded in place like the pickup truck bed and the detail that is underneath in the fender aprons such as our battery and windshield washer fluid bottle. Again, the molding is nice and crisp on this. Monogram is known for making models that go together really nicely, and this is no exception. There are some mold marks up underneath here, which you will have to get rid of, but overall, again, very nicely done from Monogram. Our next parts tree includes the frame, the interior bucket, as well as the radiator, upper radiator hose, the two mirrors, and our CB radio. And if we just turn this over, you can see how nice this is. Catalytic converter is molded in place, very easy to paint. You also get your fuel cell back there. The frame rails are open in the center, and there's a nice spot for that cross member. There is quite a bit of flash in this one, 
but not too bad that you couldn't actually clean it up. There's our interior tub there. And again, you can see the nice detailing of the console and the floor as well as the armrest. Our door panels are a little bit weak on this one, but it is kind of hard to see once the model is all built up. And there again, we have our CB radio looking pretty accurate. So overall, this parts tree is excellent. Our next parts tree includes our front air dam, the outer portion of our rear tailgate, the front crossover member, the carburetor, our wheel retainer clips, the dashboard, the inner piece of our tailgate, the very beautiful Chevy V6 in here, the fan, springs, shock absorbers, the drive shaft and differential combination, our cylinder heads, our belts and pulleys, and our rear wheel backs. Very nicely done and very easy to assemble. Our last red parts tree includes the camper top, the hood, and our bucket seats, as well as the exhaust pipe and our steering wheel. And if we turn it over, you can see the wonderful ribs on top of the roof, as well as our Camaro style steering wheel. There's our hood with that offset hood scoop for the turbocharger. And look at the wonderful upholstery on the seats. This is again top notch model material from Monogram. Now let's get our hands on the wonderful chrome as we take a look at our front and rear bumpers, as well as our alternator, the license plate shroud, our rear view mirror, the valve covers, our CB whip antenna, our exhaust manifolds, and that nice blower assembly up there, as well as these very beautiful looking mag wheels, and our front grille with the headlights in there. Again, very nice chrome on here, not too many mold marks, it should be a joy to put on your model. Here we have the clear glass components, and as you can see our headlights are actually molded down here, not in the center up here in the windows. Again, our windows are connected with these two bridges, and then there's all the ones for the rear glass. They have a nice ridge around here which you could add bare metal foil on, or black metal foil just to make it look quite accurate. Here we have these wonderful Goodyear GT Rally tires. They are molded onto a web. And you actually get two different sizes here. You get two smaller ones, as well as these nice wide ones for the rear. Again, very wonderful tires. You will need to cut them off and clean them up in your tire wheel spinning tool, but overall they should look great in the end. Now here we have this really cool El Macho decal sheet on here, which has got the colors much like that uh, Ford van we did a long time ago. Now what I find interesting with this is the El Macho is black on here, but I remember in Trevor's decals these were actually chrome right there and on the El Macho. So I don't know, maybe he had a different decal sheet. Let us know in the comments below if you had one like that. Now here we also have these Macho license plates and they are really cool. Now let's take a look at my El Camino camper build. Now as promised, here is my build of the Monogram 1978 El Camino. And in order to get this nice blue paint job, I painted the car first with some silver paint, which was brush painted on. And then after I used Tamaya Clear Blue, and I used that on the rear tail lamps, as well as a little bit on the window. It's not my best paint job, of course, but hey, I was young when this thing was built. So again, it is quite cool. Now the camper top does come off. I never glued it on, and here is just what the El Camino looks like without it. Again, a very cool model kit by Monogram. Easy to put together, and if you've got a beginner in your family that is looking for a nice kit, this is the one that will win the day. And again, very, very excellent work by Monogram. Here's our wonderful Chevy V6 with the turbocharger. And that completes our look at the Monogram 1978 Chevrolet El Camino Camper. And I would like to thank my good friend James for loaning us this model kit today that we could have a nice look at. And if you would like to buy some of our model kits at Monster Hobbies, don't forget to check out this direct link. If you click on it, it will take you immediately right over there and you can shop and take a look at all our great model cars. So from me, James and Danny the dog, happy model building and thanks for watching this video. We'll catch you on the next one.